You don't need to be a millionaire to retire comfortably. And once again, here's the proof. So my man, Andy Biggs, Andrew Biggs over at American Enterprise Institute has penned this article in the Wall Street Journal. And uh, Andy's crushing. He gets it. He oh, already got a thousand comments on there. So I'm sure there'll be a, a lot of ne'er-do-well saying, yeah, Andy Biggs. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> just as funny. if we're talking about the Northwestern Mutual Survey, the average American thinks they need one and a half million dollars to retire. And yet USA Today reports that the average American only has 88,000. So we need one and a half million, but we only have 88,000 bucks. So that's, uh, as Andy says, the survey results are implausible. Uh, so are even the less audacious goals, such as Fidelity's rule of thumb that households need 10 times their final salary before retiring. These theoretical figures do serve the, fide- the investment world because they got a product to sell. They also serve the media because they like to push bad news. Fear sells. If it leads, it bleeds. They also serve politicians who distrust, distrust private, distrust private retirement savings. Yep. Like Bernie Sanders. He claims that 45% of older Americans don't have 10,000, have no savings at all. It's simply just not true. He's a liar. These guys are liars. But let's take a look at a Federal Reserve survey of households, what they say. Overall, which one of the following best describes how well you're managing your uh, managing financially? And they said among respondents 65 to 74, 3% said they're finding it difficult to get by. 3%. 12% were just getting by. 37% were doing okay. And 49% were living comfortably, hmm. which is similar to many other surveys. And then they said, how much money you got? You could have anything from over a million to less than 10,000. Only 19% of retirees who had less than 10,000 claim only, only 19% of retirees had less than 10,000. Even though Bernie Sanders says 45% have nothing saved and they will not be able to retire with any shred of, shred of dignity or respect. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so nearly three out of four of those who said they were finding it difficult to get by had less than 10,000 bucks. But that's only 3% of the population anyway. So the 97% who did not find it difficult to get by, all right, of the, th- the 3% who found it difficult to get by, uh, 75% of those had less than 10,000 bucks. But yet a slight majority of retirees who had less than 10,000 bucks said they were doing okay or living comfortably. I hope that makes sense. So <laughs> a majority of people with less than 10,000 in retirement said they were doing okay, or if not better. Of the... 3% of the people who said they were just getting by, 75% of those people had less than 10000 bucks. But again, only 19% of retirees reporting having less than 10000 bucks to begin with. Of the, what's that, 81% of the people with 10000 or more, <laughs> savings, we're talking 10000 bucks. less than 1% said they're having a hard time getting by. Well, 93% report they're doing okay and living comfortably, or living comfortably. <laughs> 93% of those with over $10,000 in retirement said they're doing okay or living comfortably. <laughs> Among the group of fifty to 100000 in savings, 3% said they found it hard to get by, but 86% said they were doing fine or doing okay or living comfortably. That's between $50,000 and $100,000. Bucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's check it out. Median retiree who reported living comfortably, not just doing okay, but living comfortably, have between 100 and 250,000 in retirement savings. It is literally impossible to find even a fraction of the 1.46 million in savings that makes people live comfortably in retirement. That's just that's freaking stupid. So why do seniors report such high levels of security with seemingly paltry levels of savings? Well, one reason is that social security benefits are more generous than people think. I 100%, man. An average couple retiring in 2022 received total benefits of about $46,000 a year which is up in actual dollars from 34,000 to 2000. So they're receiving that's uh six, that's almost a 50% increase in real dollars for the average couple retiring in social security. It's not 30,000 in 22,000 dollars, it's 30,000 in today's dollars versus 46,000 in today's dollars. You've increased uh, not uh, not 50,000, you've increased a third. You've increased your real social security benefit by 33% over the last 25 years. Conventional financial planning also overestimates the income seniors need. 
That owes partly to planners that seniors require the same amount of money through retirement. We just, I'm not going to get this, but we know for a fact it's not true. Planners likewise forget that much of the adult's pre-retirement income is spent on, spent on their children. The U.S. estimates that a couple earning $83,000 a year with two children spends $26,000 for the kiddos for food, housing, health care, and other needs. So I think I said, uh, I don't know if I did a video on this. I got my auto insurance bill. It's $14,000, amigos. $14,000 for my auto insurance. What's going to be in 10 years? It ain't going to be $14,000. Because I got four kids, two teenagers on my auto insurance. 14000 bucks. Actually, I just got back from Costco. All right. How much food do growing teenage boys need? I mean, how much freaking, we call them tickets, toilet paper, we call them poop tickets. The word, the, it's a different word for poop, if you know what I'm saying. So we got tickets. How many tickets do we go through every day with with growing boys in a family of six? And well, actually, we only got five living here, but still, we go through toilet paper. Like you go through friggin' cigarettes. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what, I don't have a good analogy to that, but you know what I'm saying. It's crazy, man. And we, and all that food I just bought, you know what I mean? Because we got a family of two grown boys and Chloe will be back tomorrow. Maddie's out, but still. So we got family five of two teenage children. We got two, well, two teenage boys. All that's going to go away. So if you have a family of four, 26,000 over, I mean, that's like 30% of your income is spent on your kids. That's money's parents can't spend on themselves. Of the income they could do, devote to themselves, Social Security will replace 80% of that. The upshot is that parents need less on, on savings on top of Social Security than one might think, 100%. America faces retirement challenges, but scaring people with unrealistic retirement savings isn't part of the solution, 100%. Let's see some comments here. Let's see what some clowns say. Because there's going to be everyone. Anytime you got positive news, people go crazy. How dare you, Josh? How dare you say anything positive about retirement? I want to hear negatives. One argument before you look at comments you could easily make. It's a righteous argument to make. Said, so, well, these are only people that are being surveyed today. So whatever they're going to be in 10, 20, 30 years. Maybe they run out of money by then. Well, first of all, if people are actually worried about running out of money, they're not going to sit there and say they're living comfortably. First of all, they're just not. I'm running out of money. I'm living comfortably. No, you're going to say, yeah, I'm scared. I'm having a hard time getting by if you run out of money. Part two is this. We've done these surveys over and over and over and over and over again. Every single year is the same thing. Result. It's the same result. Now, these aren't necessarily longitudinal surveys where they take Josh at 50, Josh at 60, Josh at 70. But you never have any cohorts of retirees that are saying anything different. It's always the same thing. So you can make the argument that, oh, yeah, we're just surveying people today. All right, but that's a, that's a bad argument to make. It's all well and good until the money runs out, says Mary's mom. Well, the money isn't running out because we don't have any evidence of these surveys collapsing in terms of people's uh, comfort level in retirement. They, there isn't just, just isn't it. It doesn't exist. And here's Scott Fisher. How can anyone say they're living comfortably solely on Social Security and a timely monthly dividend is a mystery to me? Uh, who lives in a high cost, uh, blue high cost living state, is comfortable if you can never make trips, never eat out more than one or two times a month. Month, always buy budget items, drive old cars, and never update your house. Guess I'm a spoiled brat, which is why I'm I'm going with a 10 times savings. Yeah, you, well, you pay off your mortgage, you drive an old what's what's wrong with driving an old car? I don't what what's wrong what could possibly be wrong with driving an old car, Scott Fisher? What's wrong with you never update your house? Somebody what how much do you house do you need to update? You need to update every year? What the hell, dude? You never make trip. I mean, dude, what the hell what, what kind of bubble are you living in, brother? <laughs> I talk to people all the time. And they're doing just fine. They're traveling. I mean, what the God almighty Scott here is. Ugh. I mean, I don't want to drive an old car. I don't want to update my house every month. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's take a look. Here's Robert. Uh, my math says I need 50000 a year if I'm not extravagant. If I want to do that from dividends on stocks, uh, I'll I'll need about $1.5 million, says Robert. Okay. And then my man Kenneth says, I think your 50000 is accurate, about 4000 a month. But that includes your Social Security. <laughs> exactly. But, and then Kenneth says, if that's your income, you pay no taxes. Therefore, it's all net except for the amount you pay for Medicare. How much Social Security? Dude, Kenneth is getting it, dude. Kenneth, you're crushing, brother. Yeah, we're running over saying. You're, Kenneth, you're kicking it. Am I logged in here? Yeah, Kenneth, you're crushing. Yeah, well, I'm going to put that. All right, so I love your thoughts. God bless. This is just so we'll go live tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. See you there or you're square.